This is Stan, or I Stan, and he's a patient simulator. And basically, what he does is he responds to our treatment, to our assessment and our treatment. My belly hurts. Where before we had, when we used mannequins, they were basically they just laid here. And then the instructor would have to tell the student how the patient is responding. Uh, basically, uh, Stan is a, uh, a training module that is light years past anything we've seen before. So any kind of treatment that we would do on a normal patient, if we do that with Stan, Stan will respond appropriately for that. But he actually, when he'll split the fluid, he'll sweat here, he'll have tears will come out. So. A sensitive man. A sensitive man. <laughs> the number of, of, of EMS providers that use us as a resource hospital covers 11 counties. I mean, it's a massive amount of geography. I think that we're going to probably be able to have a large number of people that benefit from it. But it's also going to be valuable for us as a healthcare system because we can train nurses on it. We can train medical students and residents and doctors. And so it actually gives us the ability to see what we're doing without having to do it with a live patient. I can open his airway. If I need an airway to assist me in that, I can go ahead and place that. Uh, this is a, a, around $100,000. The problem on any of this type of equipment is it takes a huge commitment from the institution. We're all aware the economy is south. Things are not particularly good. Rockford is really blessed with, 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 with our performance nationwide. Uh, for a relatively small community, we're on cutting edge on EMS on all different regions. This is just going to make that whole process easier.